could have stayed, you know. Oh, he's got his mate to see. Advising him on cushions and drawers. What is your problem? Just because you're a sad little grease monkey in the middle of nowhere. Holly! It's none of your business. Stop winding her up. You're as bad as each other. I'm just taking the interest. You're going to invite random blokes to kip over. Well, he's her boyfriend. Dean? Seems nice. Dean, it's me. Uh, all do first. I've got a plan to get you money. You'll be Such pleased to know. Old... So what's the plan? Right. Chaz is away, so it's perfect timing. We need the pub empty, so you need to smash the alarm, head straight down to the cellar, yeah? There's the code. Get a rucksack. Take it with you. What, there's going to be that much? Well, it's bank holiday, so we've not banked anything yet. OK? There's going to be at least 30 grand down there. You do know what that looks like, yeah? Yeah, of course. You are going to be keeping me on my toes, lady. I won't screw up. Stealing. Mum. I told Charity I'd have to see it to believe it. What's he got to do with it? It's my sister's pub. It wasn't just me. It was Charity's idea. Oh, please. Don't try and dig yourself a bigger hole. Why, Holly? Come on, tell me. You're on the smack again, aren't you? Is that what this is about? No. no I'm clean, Mum, I swear. No surprises you're involved in this. What's in it for you, eh? Nothing, obviously, which is why I told Moira about it. Doing over the pub was only half of it. Her first offer was to try and split you two up. What? And who pulled that idea in her head, eh? I'll repeat, Clothy, it's not me. I turned her down. Sorry if that dents your precious man ego, but you know what? Kind of over the X thing. Charity did us a favour. Even if I did have to spy my own daughter to find out the truth. I just kept thinking, what if this was our Debs? How much do you owe? Two grand. That's why this Dean fella turned up yesterday, isn't it? He's not your boyfriend, is he? He was. Before he dumped me. Is there anything you haven't lied about? I was trying to protect you. By bringing a drug dealer into our home. I'm going to kill him. Where is he? Cos battering him is going to help. Yes, it is. He comes into our house, lying his face up, threatening your daughter. He's a dealer. He's targeted her because she's vulnerable. It's not her fault. I really tried, Mum. I didn't tell you because I was too ashamed. I wouldn't have judged you, Holly. You should have called me. That's why you nicked my car. No. You were going to sell it and pay him off. I knew you were lying. You made mugs of us. I didn't know where else to go. What, so you rob from your mum's husband? You steal from my sister's pub? Is that how you treat your family, is it? She'll end up doing a lot worse if we don't pay him off. Oh, you're going to bail her out? Well, if it means she doesn't end up in prison, then, yeah, too right, I will. And it's my money, Keen, so I'll do what I want with it. She's old enough to fight her own battles. <sighs> Call Dean, tell him to come here and we'll pay him the cash. Here? Yes. And if you can't wind your neck in, then just stay away. and I'll go and meet him. You don't know what he's like. Holly, sit down. If he tries anything, I'll smash his face in. Hey, Keen, stay out of this, please. Hello again. I know who you are and what you've done to my daughter. <laughs> Whoa. No tea this time, then. Take it. Get out. I don't want to see you here again. OK, if that's the way you want it. It is. I'll assume I can trust Two you. Two grand, it's all there. Mummy rescued you, did she? That's really heartwarming. Get out. <laughs> Worth the drive out, then. Pretty sweet for an hour's work. <laughs> 